Since the Football World Cup in South Africa four years ago, the Protect the Goal campaign has been using the game to raise awareness of HIV AIDS. With a global estimate of 4.6 million people between the ages of 15 to 24 living with HIV, the campaign is designed to target that demographic. Using football, the idea is to bring kids together and create an environment where the subject can be discussed. Sports leagues and matches bring communities together, providing an ideal space for AIDS awareness campaigns to reach large numbers of people. Protect the Goal is part of the United Nations program on HIV AIDS. The initiative featured as part of a larger event at the UN, celebrating sport's global importance. As official spokespersons for the campaign, Nelson Mandela's grandson Ndaba, with his cousin Kweko Mandela, were there to support. Like Ndaba's grandfather, it's a campaign close to their hearts. Because we, as a family, were also very much affected by the HIV AIDS virus, we very much felt compelled to get involved and do as much as we could to continue talking about the scourge of AIDS. With Ndaba and Kweko as ambassadors, Protect the Goal hope to reach those most vulnerable to the HIV virus. Using sports, they believe it's possible to eliminate HIV AIDS. We know there's a long battle in front of us, but it's this generation that is going to see an AIDS-free generation. According to the United Nations, 2,300 young people are infected with HIV every day. But in a World Cup year, organizers from Protect the Goal say they are confident that their message will spread and they will live to see an AIDS-free generation. William Denslow, CCTV at the United Nations in New York.